Well, we've got Depos with 155 of the Tasmania Bell in save. Who'd have thought it? Been a long, hard work, and it coincides with us breaking 50 subscribers, which I never ever thought I'd get to. This was always just a bit of a laugh and a bit of fun, and I thought, we'll see how we go. And the more I've got on to the Tasmania Bell in save, the more I've enjoyed it. Apart from that little spell when we were in the Free Liga, when the Free Liga was completely broken, as we can see, it's still broken. All those teams, um, the second teams that were in the lower leagues, all getting up to three league before us and just making the path to the to the uh, division two of Bundesliga to far much harder than it needed to be. So yeah, this is a celebration episode today, and we've just had the winter break and we're going to celebrate by playing Bayern Munich. Who else? You know, nice easy one to start off with, and then we're going to follow it up with a game against a little team, Borussia Dortmund. You might have heard of them too. And yeah, the beginning of the season, yeah, they absolutely gave us a pumping, so I'm hoping <laughs> we're a better team now. We're, we're, we're seventh. We started off ridiculously. We had like six, went six games without winning and stuff. Now we're, we're on fire, so we should be able to give these boys a game, hopefully. And if you're looking for transfers, because the transfer window is open, I wouldn't get too excited. There's one boy came in, and I've just sent him straight out and loaned to Rangers again, just because, you know... He's not quite ready for first team and, you know, we're a better team than Rangers now. So they can give him a bit of seasoning in the Scottish League and then send them back. Hi guys, it's your boy Chris here from Heed the Ball Gaming and welcome back to episode 155 of that Tasmania Berlin save. Tasmania Berlin once regarded, or they're still regarded as the worst team in Bundesliga history. And this is our second season in the Bundesliga. You know, so we've rebuilt this club all the way from Division 6 all the way to the top league and just gave them a bit more about them. In real life, Tasmania Berlin actually won the Berlin Liga the, the same season in 2019 as we won it. So I like to think I'm a lucky omen for them, to be honest. Yeah, And if anybody knows anybody from Tasmania Berlin or anybody from Tasmania Berlin watching, get them in contact with me because I'd love to to talk to somebody from the club, so that would be great. So yeah, we're playing Bayern Munich today in our first game back from the winter break. And the transfers, that's ones you're wanting to see. There's nothing nothing exciting, to be honest. I don't want to get you too excited. Um, a few offers, I've, I've tried to put a few guys on loan to TB Berlin, but they didn't want to go. Borussia Tervens Berlin are too low a club for them. But this is one of the features in this game that really annoys me. If I say to a player, especially a young player that's 18 year old, you're going to the 5th division to play for TB Berlin, you shouldn't be able to reject that. That's surely my decision to say, you're going there. And if you reject, then surely that would be a, a punishment. You know what I mean? And it would be a, I, I don't know, I, I would be able to find them or get rid of them or whatever, just... I, we should be able to reject a loan deal when I've suggested they go on loan. Unless I'm, it's somebody ridiculous like a £15 million player and I'm trying to send them to the 5th division. But these guys have no first team experience. So the 5th division would be actually a good starting point because I've checked the star ratings against the league. And, you know, they're, they're practically the same. But the, the star rating and the club aren't the same. So that's something I'd like football managers to sort out this side of Sports Interactive to sort out because it just annoys me. It's one of these things that just like, ah, oh, RB Leipzig are sniffing around Christian Krobo. Um, he's got a £30 million re uh, release clause, but he's getting a bit annoyed. I won't let him go, but he is basically our whole club. So I'm hoping to keep a hold of him. He's still got a couple of years left in his contract, so he can do one, can, to be honest. Um, one guy coming in at the same time as Stuart Stephen McKimmy. Uh, Islan Gundurio that's, that's a Turkish name I'm watching that Resurrection of uh, Ergurgul or whatever you call it on Netflix that's really good if you want to watch it if you don't mind subtitles and stuff so I'm trying to uh, practice my, po uh, my Turkish because there's been so many um, Turkish names in this save yeah there's some doubts in his ability to improve and I really like him. Look, look at him. He's he's good. And my scouts do not rate him at all. They think he's a three-star potential player. But he's 17-year-old. And look at him. He has absolutely 
amazing. And there's some big clubs after him as well. So I do not know why we do not rate him. But, you know, who am I to say? And as I say, I wasn't signing too many players. So I'll just show you the transfer history. Nobody's came out. So San Diego Melly went out. Just a reserve goalkeeper, third choice goalkeeper. I probably will bring in a... Um, just at the end of the transfer window, a third choice goalkeeper, just in case one of the other ones get injured. Um, and the other guy that I brought in was Shahram Shejikhan. And you've seen this guy before. <laughs> he was an Iranian international. <laughs> and, um, my scouts found him while um, scouting the Asian Champions League. And he is very good. Look at the determination of 20. You can't teach that, you know what I mean? And you just can't teach that. So what I've done is I've just sent him straight out to... He's 19. Well, whether he'll improve much more from this, I don't know. But I've sent him straight out to Rangers on loan. Hopefully he'll get some time. Has he played yet? He's not played yet, but he's only just been sent out. And he is a very good striker. If he can score goals in Scotland, then he's got a chance of coming here and scoring goals because he's got all the tools. He's got composure at 16, finishing at 16. First touch of fifteen. He's a he's a natural poacher, you know what I mean. And so I'm 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 happy to have this guy on board. Right. So as you can see, we've not, not had a bad bad set of results against the uh, Bayern Munich. We've drawn twice. They've won once. So we always tend to get something from them. So let's see how we play. To be honest, I'm quite excited about this. The starting lineup today: Shrek's and goals. I think we'll go for Kodar because Kodar is improving like an absolute beast. He is fantastic as Kodar. Look at him. He is improving. He is one of the best young players I've worked with in this Football Manager 2020. And so we're good for Lejeune, Wood, Boy and Colombo. That back four near enough picks itself now. Slotner, Bompart and Alter. Again, the midfield doesn't really. There's a, got a few options in midfield. Ferreira, Middendorp. The two wingers pick themselves. And then Mujic is starting up top. Could be him or... Um, is Simic injured? I can't remember. Yeah, he's injured. So Simic's injured. Got a bit of injuries. Uh, Crocbo's injured. And uh, Emerson's coming back. But I've not been impressed by Emerson since we got him on loan from Huddersfield. So I'd quite like to have sent him back and save some wages and then bring somebody else in. But we'll see how it goes. But I think not much more to get done in the transfer window. Maybe a reserve goalkeeper. And that'll probably be it. Right, go and cause an upset. Right, I have faith. I have faith. Oh yeah, and I have faith. Ton of interviews, I hate these. Not bothered about the weather. If I were talking about 11 players that are on the pitch, Emerson Cow is rubbish. So Sissy. So Sissy. Sorry. I say that's not a good term. Let's not say that. Malito. Yeah, we got beat 5 1 by Borussia Dortmund the last day we played them, so I'm not looking forward to that game. But as I say, the players are have a better understanding now. We're playing a lot better. Oh, beautiful by Ferreira. Oh, Mujic. Oh, and that's a save by Rocha. Mujic is one desperate for a goal against his old club. Both him and Middendorp are alone from Bayern Munich. Not much. Not much happening. We've had two shots. They've had one. Right. That's pretty good. But, oh. I thought that was a goal there. Right, there's a goal. There we go. And Cissé must have heard what I said about him. He scored 13 minutes gone. Come on, get creative. Simple stuff. And, I, oh, and it's a... Oh, it's a... Looks more like her own goal to me. I'm surprised it wasn't awarded to the defender. Definitely hit off his foot. Oh, a good block. Ferreira likes a run. 
over the top. Is Mujic going to get there? No. Suarez beats him. But Colombo picks up. Back to Colombo. Colombo doesn't play very well in big games sometimes. He's a bit hit and miss. He changes. Axel Alter. We do not want to lose him. Hugo. He's bossing it there, Hugo. Oh, I hate when it looks like our pat. Oh, I hate when it looks like our highlight and then it's theirs. We just haven't been playing very well against the big boys this year. Like the, the games against the littler teams were, were, were bossing, but. Pause. Tactics. This is a, a repeat of the Borussia Dortmund game. Absolute repeat. Right, sorry, Mirren Dort, you're going to have to get sacrificed. A Perry, on you go, pal. For Ferreira. And then. Can Ferreira play up front? No, he can't. I should know that by now. And Bodimir. Emerson. Bodimir. There we go. Confirm changes. Right, play. This is a repeat of the Borussia Dortmund game at the beginning of the season. <laughs> Straight to defensive, trying to hold on to a 4 0 loss. So some passion. You know, Bayern Munich are so much better than us, but, you know, the last few games against them have been really quite close, so. Yeah, sometimes you need a wake up call to see how good your team actually are, and, and this is a wake up call today, I think. You know, last season went so well. We're pushing everybody so close. We're tight and compact. And this season we're just not not being very well at all. Althar's playing appallingly. To be fair, we're all playing appallingly, but Althar's playing ridiculously bad. We're going to get an absolute bollocking. Team talk, aggressive. That's awful out there. Just go out and Try play football. Swatner, Bompart, Laperi. I quite like Laperi to be honest. He's uh, fast becoming one of my favourite players. Maybe we're going to have to shoehorn him into the side. And it changes. Because he plays reasonably well every time I see him. I'm not making a sub just yet for Althard just in case there's injuries because you know what happens. You use a free. Subs and then somebody dies. Like that. There we go. Just just on cue. Are you listening to me game? Probably. Right. Um Rob oh, Crest's coming on. And you know what we'll say? We'll go, you decided not to substitute out her despite him playing badly. And you'll be like, Yeah. Cause I used all my subs, mate. On other things. I made tactical changes and then I had an injury. But no, no, you focus on the fact that I, I made a. left a player that was playing badly on. That's that's exactly what to do. I guarantee it. I'm, I'm even going to do the press conference to try and prove it. This is going to come up. You know, we've played reasonably well since we went defensively. Um, I said we were going to get a goal. I swear. Hello? Is there somebody in that mic? <laughs> Everything I've said just came true. Well, that was a better performance in the second half, I have to say. Uh, I think we're lucky to get away with a 3-0 loss, to be honest. And well, Perry, he really showed things up when he came in, so that was a good performance. Team talk. We're motivated. A bit too late now. Team talk. Um, yeah, I can't fault you with effort. It was one of those days in team talk. A little bit of a lie, but, you know, they, 
he did score three goals in rapid time, so I can't be too upset. Right, let's go to the press conference, right? We've lost ground, but we're going to lose ground. We're going to lose against Borussia Dortmund as well, so I'm not overly upset. And Tuchel has been sat by Leipzig. Last time I was a favourite, but yeah, probably after a 3-0 loss, because I got offered that job last time it was up. They don't give time to managers to Leipzig. Right, so let's attend for us to see if this doesn't come up. Oh. Got another choice. Oh, this is really bad for this um, skin. Here we are at this stage. Dropping points. What you would bother watching. Why, why would you not use Kyle Emerson? Because he's not. A private. Go away. Uh, not a place to comment. Right. They didn't actually say anything about Althor. Just to make me feel. I swear. Sports are active and the game can hear when you're using a microphone, eh? It's all it's all a staged it's all a set up. <laughs> yeah. Too much going on in the game for that, but you know, sometimes it does feel like that. Anyway, I'll see it for the next game in a second. We're back for the Borussia Dortmund game. Nothing much has happened since your last year. The only thing is Crook Bo are probably our best uh, midfielder. He's having a big tantrum because I won't allow him to join Burnley. He has a release clause of 30 million. Burnley are offering 8, and I said no. He's having a big tantrum. He wants to be involved. Uh, go to Burnley. It's a strange place, January 2031, to be honest. When a T player is kicking off because he won't, wants to join Burnley. <laughs> and I can understand it, but I'd say us and Burnley are, are similar level, so this is the, the confusing matter for me, anyway. So we're going for the defensive tactic, the one that helped us shore up the, the game against the uh, Bayern Munich. So we're going to go striking goals, a little bit of experience, Wood, Leperi and Boy. I just don't want uh, Kodar losing too many goals and losing confidence. Ojean, Alec, Bompart, Krokbo and Althar. And then Budabir and Music up top. And we're just going to go for it. This is... Borussia Dortmund seem to be the only team that ever hammer us and we got them in the German Pokal as well so I take it that's our defence of the German Pokal over. Right, go for it. Tunnel, I hate these tunnel interviews. Don't have anything to say, go away. Right, play. Yeah, as long as we don't get beat 4, 5, 6 nil, I'd be happy. I'd be over the moon and it's good. We're going to get past the first five minutes without conceding. No. Oh, we are. Good, good. <laughs> it's always one of those, isn't it? Yeah. So, boy away. Six minutes, crook bow. Oh, can't pass the player. A big game for Budimir. Start. Oof. Yeah, I was working out earlier on that we've got 14 episodes a season and I know I've been a bit irregular with the uploads recently. It was kind of a free league in January when we were in the free league it kind of ruined the save for me because it was such a difficult, difficult time to try and get my head round it. So I was working out we maybe can get another season out of this save just with my irregular uploads and... I want an extra season but yeah it'd be interesting to see if I could just every see every week we've been in the third season's been the season where we've been able to make the vast improvement so you know part of me's thinking if I have another season I could maybe build a team that could push for the Champions League places which could be interesting uh, so yeah, I think I think that's what we're gonna go for. We've got we're on what episode eight of this um season, so another five, yeah, so we could technically yeah, technically another twenty twenty episodes before Football Manager twenty twenty comes out. Listen, oh, we're playing defensively, what's going on? Israel Luna. Yeah, so nothing inspires you to come and watch more when for a defeat against 
the fifth best club in Germany. Because Borussia Dortmund aren't they actually that good, to be honest. They're, they haven't won a title for a few years. They're ordinary music. Oh, beautiful for music. That's not offside, is it? It's not good. Um, it's cutting a calm guy. Gardo is cutting a calm presence at the club. No, it's tainted to panic on them. So yes, yeah, so I was thinking about that. Another another season would be good. I am enjoying this, apart from the the hammerings that we get from Borussia Dortmund <laughs> every season. Oof, that was slow from the midfielder. It's croaked bow, isn't it? Fabiano, Enthart. Oh, we. Bompart, oof. They are just coming at us in waves. This is a long highlight. This is going to be a goal. No, it's not. Or Perry. Oh, Jean. We are defending so deep. Oh, I am not overly pleased with what I've seen. You know, we've had 21 shots star two. It's not the Tasmania by one way, but, you know, we've got to be sensible. I don't want to get an absolute tanking and then have to go to the the next game against uh, Dynamo Dresden, who we should be beating and then drawn again or something like that. So, revenge, go for it. Not gonna be angry. We're we're not losing too too much. Hunter Hidego. If we open up against Borussia Dortmund, it's just gonna end up being five six nil again. I, I just don't know what their tactics are. It's, it's a four four one one. So it's nothing spectacularly brilliant, you know what I mean? And it's it's pretty ordinary. So, I do not know why we, we have the Indian who do sign over us. Music's playing reasonably well. Yeah, bomb part, he's off the tackles, mate. No point in getting sent off and then not being here for the Dynamo Dresden game. Moved away. Oh. Fabiano, right, let's make subs. Not changing the tactics because we, <laughs> I'm not opening up against these guys. Um, we've learnt that they will destroy us. Um, Kropo's not done much. Garby can come into that middle. Um, who else is playing bad? Alec. Come off for the, the big man. Don't have much defence. Some options on the bench. And I'll leave it. And Simic can come on for Buddy Mears shortly. 3 1. Not the end of the world so far. 66 minutes. There's another chance time for another three goals for Borussia Dortmund. <laughs> They just have a really good side. They just underachieve Borussia Dortmund. Unless they're playing us, they just destroy us. And I just don't like these endless highlights. And I quite happily had a, a game where we just had lost 1-0 or 2-0. It would have made me happy, to be honest. <sighs> had to get go away. Best of guard, Dalthard. <laughs> Dalthard doesn't know what to do with it. This tactic should be solid. I've never seen a team absolutely annihilate this tactic like this. <laughs> this has given me food for thought. This tactic has been so good for just shutting the door and especially against the big teams. And I, <laughs> this is not what I wanted. <laughs> and I can't go any more defensive because well we're defensive enough 
that I could put it back to defensive, but cautious is enough. We need to try and create something. I should have just skipped over these games. <laughs> Showed you the ones we actually win on camera. But you know, I wasn't expecting a, a win, but not to lose 4-1 would have been nice. Music. <sighs> and that sums up the game for us. Garby of the corner. I hate that angle. Perimeter. And that is a free kick. Hopefully it will not be a goal. Wood away. And that is it. They've put us out of misery. Um, team talk. I'm really unhappy with that. Unhappy with the result. I think we had a chance there to, to push up, but that's easier games to run games now. We've got Dries, uh, Dresden and we've got um, Freeburg. So hopefully we'll get wins against them, but I didn't want to lose heavily, and that's two games that we've lost really quite heavily. So what we'll do is if we get the schedule. Do, 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 do. Um, Freeburg and that, we'll, we'll skip through them. Borussia Dortmund, we'll just play that because I, I can't see us losing. I, get, uh, I can't see us winning against Borussia Dortmund in the German Cup 8 final. So I think our defence of the uh, German poker was over. Leipzig. So we'll come back here for the Leipzig and the White Double Bill, or we'll come back for the Bayer, uh, Bayer Leverkusen and the White Double Bill. But, or might just come back for a Double Bill of Anderlecht. That might be what I'll do. I'll skip the games in between and then just come back for the double bill of Anderlecht. Alright, thank you very much for watching. Subscribe if you've never watched before and you've managed to get to the end of this video. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.